New tonight, one of the suspects charged in the death of 23-month-old Ariel Rose is asking for a lower bond. Melissa Sutton is charged with two counts of felony murder after police say the toddler died of fentanyl poisoning while in her care. Fox 17 News Amanda Chen has been covering this story since the beginning, and she was in court for today's hearing. We had family members on both sides speak in support of their loved ones, but ultimately this judge will need some more time to decide if she will lower Melissa Sutton's bond, which right now is set at $100,000. Investigators say Melissa Sutton was one of two caring for Ariel Rose when she died of fentanyl toxicity. Sutton's mother took the stand and testified in support of her daughter getting her bond lowered, stating she will have a place to live and access to transportation. She knows she's innocent. She did not kill Ariel. And I believe her. She loved that baby. The state brought out a Metro Police detective from the Youth Services Division who investigated the toddler's death. The detective says Sutton told him at the time the possibility of drug paraphernalia being inside her apartment and shared concerns Ariel may have gotten a hold of something but wasn't sure. Ariel's grandfather gave a statement to the court arguing for Sutton's bond to remain the same while holding up a picture of Ariel's tombstone. It's going to send a message to a lot of people that, you know, it's no big deal, but it is a big deal. As you can see right there, it's a, it's a really big deal. Jesse Mashburn has also been charged in connection to Ariel's death. Now both suspects are expected to appear in court on December 5th, where a judge will decide if Sutton's bond will be lowered. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Amanda Chen, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.